libraries of different categories such as academic, public and specialized have been cooperating among themselves in different areas like acquisition, cataloging, storage and interlibrary loan. With the advancement of information and communication technology, this library cooperation is possible in more effective and efficient manner. Though the library and information network in India using the information communication technology is of the recent origin, the activities towards sharing the resources of libraries, particularly documentary resources, have been initiated long back. The Kemp's Catalog for Geological Serials and Bhattacharya's Union Catalog of Scientific Serial in Calcutta region are examples towards this end. During 1960s, the compilation of Union Catalog of Scientific Serial and Social Science Serials by Indian National Scientific Documentation Center that is in stock and Defense Scientific Information and Documentation Center that is DESIDOC and NASDOC were undertaken to facilitate sharing of resources amongst libraries. The library consortia like Bombay Science Libraries Association that is BOSLA and Lucknow Science Libraries and Information Consortium that is LUSLIC were established for sharing of resources in these two cities. The establishment of National Information System for Science and Technology that is LUSAT and development in network technology provide a major boost for linking of libraries using information communication technology. In this program, we'll be discussing two such library networks, local and national. In India, in the 1980s, we woke up and we saw that our resources, our financial resources with the libraries were so small that no library in the country could purchase everything of interest to its users in the areas of their disability. We felt that it was therefore very important and essential for us that the resource sharing should be done. We have to try to see that we reduce the financial burden on each institution and try to see how the user gets more and more information. So, in the 1980s, Calibre Network started in 1986. In 1988, Delta started and Institute Network started. With the objective of resource sharing among university libraries, Information Library Network, IMPLIBNET, was started at Ahmedabad in Gujarat. It was established formally in the year 1991 at Gujarat University campus in Ahmedabad. Subsequently, it has gained its momentum and it was an autonomous EGC program affiliated to IUCA located at Pune under University Bank's Commission. In 1996, it has become a self-fledged institution held as IGC of University Bank's Commission. Ever since, the purpose for which it has been established has started speaking up. Implementnet has taken up a number of activities in the areas of automation and networking as well as providing library and information services. The mission is to have the optimum utilization of the resources existing over 300 university libraries across the country. And in those days, we had about 5,000 colleges, all of them were hungry for information in the academic sphere. So the implement which has sprung up was the mission to provide adequate qualitative information to all these institutions 
while keeping an eye on reduction of optimization of duplication of resources. And how do they do? They would like to use it the appropriate technology that is existing on that day. So this was the mission through which it has started. And what are the points number one? Point number one happens to be to train the manpower who are heading these institutions for libraries and take stock of it and also create union databases so that people would know what kind of material is available at which place. So that is point one. And point two is the user also needs to be geared up to catch up how to demand for information and how to retrieve this information. Number three was commercially and otherwise the databases have started evolving in almost all disciplines of the universe of knowledge. So all these three things blended together, Internet Next responsibility has grown tremendously. There is a page-wise program drawn up over the years, right from 1996. First one was to map up large number of library professionals across the universities available to be trained with the upgraded skills so that they will be able to take up the challenge of the technological advancement and provide appropriate information that is needed to the hungry people, that is research scholars and millions of younger minds who are walking into the university setup and the faculty and the researchers. So that is how it has been mapped up. So intellectual responsibility was tremendous in those days and the emphasis was given to train them at Ahmedabad. The duration was basically for 15 days to one month depending upon for which this program was designed, there they were exposed to the library automation. In a sense, the library automation supersedes all the activities. What it consists? It consists of training of the manpower and creation of library databases at respect to libraries of the universities and also to link up these universities simultaneously. So this is the mission through which the internet was moving. Over the period of until 2001, it has signed about 700 library professionals across the country. The various online databases provided by InfidNet are books database, thesis database, serials database consisting of current serials, serials holdings, secondary serials, and the expert database of academic community of Indian universities. And finally, expert database of science and technology. To access InfidNet's database, you can directly go to InfluidNet cyberspace or you can surf its local site. As you surf, the options of the various online database appear on the screen. Click on Books Database. The main screen appears. Click on Title and enter Tagore and click on the search button. Various books on Tagore would appear. The title of the book with its respective author, place, publisher, and year of publication would appear on the screen. Now to know more about the book, Tagore the novelist, click on it and complete details of the book would appear on the screen. Now we will know the specific location of the book located at Kovempu University. As you click on Kovempu University, further information regarding the university's address, telephone, email, etc. would appear. Now we will show you how to access the thesis database. As you click on, you find the title, researcher, guide, subject descriptor, university, department. Let's search through guide. Say for example, guide's name is Karishuddhappa. Enter Karishuddhappa and press search. You get the details regarding the various researchers for whom he has been the guide. If you click on first title, you get the complete information about the department, university, etc. Now let's go to serials database. We will browse to current serials database. The main screen with the various options would appear like title, ISSN, frequency, publisher, place of publisher, subject descriptor, library, etc. Now we will search the various journals on the biochemistry. It will retrieve all the journals with the title and locations in different universities. Now suppose I want to know more about the biochemical education. Click on it and the complete details about the particular journal would appear. This journal is available in these five university libraries. Now let's click on Banaras Hindi University 
and he gets the complete details of the university, its address, telephone number, email, etc. Now we will surf through the expert database of academic community of Indian universities. As you click on this, you get various fields as a drop-down menu with the options under all fields as name, designation, organization, city, specialization, etc. Now let's go by specialization. Type in biotechnology and click on go. Three hundred and thirty six records are received. If you wish to know more about the scientist Chandram, click on this particular scientist and you get the complete information about his address, telephone number, qualification, specialization, working experience, etc. Similarly, you can search through the expert database to know the expertise in the various fields of science and technology. At the international scenario, creation of databases, uploading of data, downloading of data is also very important in the global information system. India cannot be looked at isolation. So, Inclibna took again the challenge of embarking upon MARC 21 format, which is a very essential thing for the software, for the internet activities, and also for transporting of information on the network. Well, this group has been addressing, and very happy to share with you that in the last one and a half year, 21 lakh records have started rapidly pouring in to the center. This is a remarkable effort made by all the library professionals across the country. They woke up to the challenge and it is rapidly coming in this direction to us. Another challenge that computer technology has brought is multimedia and multilingual. So these are the additional features which we wanted to add up to the data that is existing and also that is likely to come in. So we have addressed these issues by taking into account not only print mode, non-print material like voice information, pictorial information, animated information and information existing in variety mode have also been addressed how to amalgamate them into this purpose. Efforts were made to encourage cooperation among libraries, document centers and information centers in the country. So that the resources can be seized for the benefit of the weaker resource centers by the stronger ones, the concept of local library network has emerged. With the objective of sharing local library resources through interlibrary loan. For this, at local level, Delnet, Delhi Library Network at Delhi, Calibnet, Kolkata Library Network at Kolkata, Nalibnet, Madras Library Network at Chennai, and Adinet, Ahmedabad Information Network at Ahmedabad are being set up at local level. Years, Delhi Library Network developed very fast, not only at local level but also at national and international level by changing its name to Developing Library Network with the same acronym as Delhi. In at the India International Center, we initiated a discussion on library networking in Delhi. In Delhi, we had a lot of experience which we gained by moving over a new field, which was a new field for us. Training of libraries was one of the major issues we fought. We arranged training. We were supported by MISAC, 
at that time and later in the 1992 by the National Informatics Center of the Planning Commission. One of the major essentials of a library network is to have women catalogs. Because unless you have women catalogs, you are not able to know what is available in other libraries. And therefore, for that, the database creation, catalog creation in the libraries, in the member libraries, is very essential. So we therefore organize training programs in how to catalog these books in the National Database Hall. At that time, MUSAC provided the software, CBS, ISIS, and we used a format called Common Communication Format. Initially, it was a good beginning, and the libraries started learning. We started organizing training programs, and our women catalogs started growing from that stage. In 1993, we registered Delnet as a society. And about 20 libraries joined. From that day onwards, the number of libraries started increasing every year. And by now, we have nearly 570 libraries. We also gained experience in developing several databases. We have now nearly 20 online databases. And these databases, you will have a look at. And the union catalogs of books, union catalogs of periodicals, union lists of periodicals, and the union catalogs and lists of other documents came up. Now, this information became online. We made it available online. And eventually, it was accessed through dial-up system. And later, we made it accessible through the internet. As soon as, as soon as it became available through the internet, the scope changed. Any institution in any part of the world could access this information. And therefore, the libraries from outside Delhi started joining. And so we have only 135 libraries in Delhi. Most of the libraries are from outside Delhi. And they are exchanging information. They are sending books. They are receiving books. And this is a very healthy practice. Delnet's relentless efforts in resource sharing have proved extremely effective. It has been a big leap towards the modernization of libraries in India. Let's start picking up uh, with an example that you are in a library and you are trying to find it out about a particular book on a particular subject it can be, or it can be by a particular author. Now, let's, you can see over here, we have a link for union catalog of books, and as I indicated, we have around 26 lakh records which are being uh, accessible right now, and we have this data. It, it, getting continuously updated every day. We have data which is getting merged into these databases, and we have more and more records which are being accessible at the same time. Now, once you click on here, you, just, you simply need to just click on once. Once you do that, it says you are accessing Union Catalog of Books for CCF format. And if you just scroll down, like you know, the side window, you can scroll down and you can see these are the various searching mechanisms, searching fields through which you can perform your search, that is, you are working inside the books database, that is trying to find it out about a particular book. You can find it out about from by a particular title or by name of the person, which is none other than the author's name. You also, you can make out the searches by the subject, series, date of publication, place in publisher, name of the corporate body, location code, that is, physically you want to see whether this particular library has got this particular book or not. Yes, you can make a searches like that. You can even make out searches by the ISBN number. And you can see from here any particular, you know, the field 
that you know, if you happen to know, you can perform the searches. The reason why all these fields you can see over here we have given is because at times it happens, the researcher comes to you with a query. They may not be knowing exactly the title. They may not be knowing exactly the author's name. They may be knowing a small little some other particular bibliographic information. We want to find it out the books in the Delnet online system, wherein the title of the book must contain, contains all. That is, I want the word engineering as well as science to appear in the title of the books. Now, once you type in, just click onto this search now. Once you do that, here you can see it says document 1 to 30 of 2620. That means there are 2620 books in the database out of nearly 26 lakh books, wherein the word engineering and the word science is appearing in the title. Now see over here, 2002. Principles of Neurocomputing for Science and Engineering, which is the title of the book written by Frederick Ham. 2002, the year of publication, APGEC. Now, the researcher, we being the professionals, we wanted to know who physically has got the book. And here you can see the first two small case letters denotes to our member library state, the state to which this particular institution belongs. What a researcher or a library professional who, uh, the li from a library who is you know, subscribing to our interlibrary loan, you just simply click onto this. It takes you to a page wherein it shows the, what are the subjects of this particular book, the, the areas in which the book is being specialized in, the place in publishers who has published this book, the location code, the name of the person, that is the author's name, the ISBN number of the book, the price and binding and other things. And now here in it comes particular options for post. This is registering for interlibrary loan, which entitles the library to get this book physically through Delnet ILL online system. Once you click onto this, you can see what here it says, books island request form. So this form, rather than in a print form, this is being available electronically. And here, automatically, you can see the details are sitting in here. It says the title, graph theory, author, date of publication, place and publisher, the class number, the location code, NITK, Surat Kal has got this book. And here comes the ILL password. Now, once you get this particular password over here, after that it says delivery service. How do you want this particular book to be delivered to you? You also try to uh, take into consideration that the copyright rules are being taken care of. And we also request at the same time to all our member institutions to abide by these rules. So we'll show you now the access to the thesis and dissertation database. Here we have a link for thesis and dissertation. As uh, we have done, uh, you just simply have to click here. And once you do that, again, herein comes the same kind of searching uh, form which gets appeared. And you can herein mention any of the searching uh, keywords that you would like to search for. Uh, you can just simply write the word library science and say search now. You can see here we have seven uh, pieces, you know, which are being, which it can be a thesis or even it can be in the form of a dissertation. Apart from that, we have the articles database, which is, uh, we have around more than five lakh indexed articles. The libraries are indexing a large number of articles, depending on their fields of interest. You want to see, are there any articles on the education policy? You can just simply write the word, say contains all, it, it should contain all the word, the education, as well as the policy, and just click on to the search now. Then it says 208 articles are getting displayed over here. They are the bibliographic articles. And the uh, under our document delivery services, we can provide the full text copies of these articles. We are also uh, providing links to certain databases which are being available on the internet and which uh, can contain uh, some kind of you know, uh, useful information uh, for the researchers. We have Cambridge uh, dictionaries online. The US patent full text is being uh, available online. You can perform the searches on this, and you can get the full text patents. You can get it downloaded even onto your own system. This is uh, the, uh, the screen that gets displayed. You can perform the searches even since 1790. Whatsoever the US patents are being uh, getting patented, you can make the searches of that, and you can download it also. We have, to some extent, appealed our office. There's a lot to do. There's a lot of information in the library which is uncatalogued. 
the fruits of a death life. There's a lot of information about, about which our users don't know. So therefore, there's a lot of gap between the user and between the source and the library. We are working very hard on bridging this gap. We have, by now, about 30 lab recordings on our system, available online, about 25 lab books, about 5 lab articles, and other 20 online databases are accessible. But we feel this is still too small. Keeping in view the number of documents available in the library, the number of libraries that are in this country, we feel that the resources that we have are not only for the users in this country. They are for the users anywhere in the world. And we, when we achieve that objective, their resources will become available to our, for our resources, for our users. And we'll be helping our uh, users as a result a great deal. So therefore, there will be communication taking place between the institutions in India and institutions outside India. We have already got institutions from about five other countries that have joined Delhi. And this process is going on.